Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be going through all of the items that I have finished, hence the video being called Empties. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the products that I've saved up pretty much after I've moved into this apartment. There were a couple of items that I've shared with you guys before on Instagram, but never on YouTube back when I was living in the old place. I will mention some of those as well, just because it's still pretty worth mentioning, but all the physical items I can show you, it's all from this apartment and onwards, and all the other ones I will just show you you via my stories or just kind of show you guys a picture over here or something like that but anyway so I actually have a few categories I have hair skincare of course and I actually have a body one so without any further ado I'm just gonna get this video started Okay, so the first category that I want to go through is skincare. The first set of items are all from Caudalie. So this is pretty much the Caudalie Vino Perfect line. And this is the essence that I completely finished. This is completely done now. This is also the night cream that I finished. And I actually also finished the serum as part of the Vino Perfect line. That one was the bottle from my old place. It was the bottle that I ran out first. And I also got it replenished. That's why it's not part of it here today but I'll leave a story to show you that it's from the old place this entire Vino Perfect line I just absolutely love I've shared it so many times on my stories and also mentioned it when I actually did the Caudalie giveaway so this entire line really brightens the skin and I basically dedicated this entire line for my evening routine so my morning routine is actually a little bit different it's not because I want it to be different it's mostly due to the fact that I do my makeup and my morning skincare routine routine in my makeup table which is in the living room and then my nighttime routine is all in the bathroom so that's why for out of laziness I just kind of have two sets of skincare routines I have tried the line all together so the essence the serum and the cream so I can't really isolate one to be like oh this is the one that you have to use in order to achieve all your results I find that usually I do like to use the similar branding or the similar line all together just to have the full force of the effects of it I would say definitely the essence is such a great high quality essence even the packaging and everything just worked really really well for my skin including the serum and also the cream the cream I particularly liked first of all the entire line smells pretty good it's not too fragrant though but it does have a nice smell I'm just trying to smell like the residue of the cream, but the cream is pretty thick. I would say I apply a little bit of a thick layer, especially at nighttime. And in the morning time, instead of the cream, I use their moisturizer. So it's a little bit lighter instead of such a heavy cream. But I find that every single time I've used the cream, the next morning, my skin feels really, really hydrated because typically sometimes I just feel like with lighter moisturizers at night, in the morning, it still kind of dies down a little bit. That's why at nighttime, I like to put something a little bit heavier so it lasts me all throughout the hours while I'm sleeping and sometimes it kind of like gets on my bed sheets and stuff so I do personally like to apply a thicker mask or cream in the nighttime so this entire line is a little bit pricey but in my opinion I think it was really worth it I did get this from a PR package but I do think that I personally would repurchase it after even finishing all three of these and yes I'm not gonna say that for everything in this video there are things in here that also were gifted but I would probably not buy anymore the next skincare item is the Aven cream this is pretty much what the cream looks like and I 1000% would recommend this product and 1000% would repurchase this product because number one, it is so great for sensitive skin. If you have sensitive skin, this is such a great product. The second reason that I would get this product is because it kind of reminds me of the Laneige water cream. It is very lightweight without having to feel really, really heavy. So I find that it's also water-based, kind of like the Laneige one. I feel like this one is also extremely good for boyfriends. Basically, 
specifically guys in your life. I find that the guys in my life at least, they don't really like to have creamy products on their face. Rather, they would rather have something more water-based. So I find that this worked really well when I was giving it to my brother, etc. And yeah, so I definitely recommend this if either you yourself don't really like anything really lotiony and creamy and want something a little bit more water-based, this is such a great option. You can also buy this at the drugstore, but also if you are trying to gift or sort of have like a starter pack for the guys in your life, I find that this is also a really good product to start off with as well. The last skincare product is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner. This is what the bottle looks like. So personally, I would not get this again. I don't know if it's because this is for normal to oily skin. And I actually discovered that my skin is actually on the dry side. The reason why I didn't know is because this part of my skin was typically very oily. But then I went to get a skin consultation actually at Kiehl's and they were showing me how the top of my eyebrows were a little bit flaky and they were like, that actually shows dryness. So so actually, I don't know why they recommended this to me at all, but I guess my whole life, I actually thought my skin was normal slash combination or something like that. But then after I got a skin consultation about a year ago, that was when I realized that my skin is actually considered dry instead of oily. But anyway, so I'm not sure if that is predominantly the reason. I still finished this toner, but I did find that it is a little bit more on the drying side. So personally, I wouldn't get it again, but I, once again, not sure if it's just towards myself because I have drier skin and it dried out my skin or you know if other people have the same experience so if you guys have tried this product before please leave a comment down below because I would love to know if it's just you know me recommending people just not to get it or if it was just like my personal issue okay so the next one is actually one that I don't have on me but I'm just looking at my Instagram right now it is the Bioderma Micellar Water so it looks like this for my phone but I'll also leave a picture basically if you guys don't know, I love doing double cleanse. So I'll use an oil-based makeup remover to remove everything off of my face. After that, I either wash my face or other times I'll use this to go over my skin just one more time to make sure everything is off. This one, I found that it was extremely gentle on my skin. I actually avoid the eye area because I don't like to take any type of cotton pad over my eye area since it's so sensitive and just like everything here is so fragile. For this one, I predominantly use it to remove like even more more layers of makeup and stuff and every single time I find that I use it I still will get a little bit it's very important for you guys to double cleanse even if you don't use micellar water you can use just basic soap or other face wash after you use your oil-based makeup remover overall I feel like this one is really good and I definitely would buy it again because I am so sensitive when it comes to makeup removing so I just find that it's one of those things that it's better to go on the sensitive side I actually did get it replaced and I am trying the other one. It has like a bluer color, which I will show you guys in a picture here as well. But this one, I really recommend if you are looking for my cellar water. I have purchased one before from Sephora by Dr. Jart, but I find that that one was just kind of expensive. So even though the quality was great and arguably you could say that it was even better than this one in terms of removing makeup, but I find that it wasn't as gentle. So if you are looking for, you know, gentleness, I would go with this one. If you're looking for effectiveness, I would go with the Dr. Jart one. Dr. Jart one is also a little bit more expensive than this one right here. So moving on to hair, I have these two Joico products. This is from their Defy Damage line. So I only have finished the shampoo and conditioner so far, but out of this line, I have gotten their mask and I've also gotten their heat protectant. So both of them, I have not finished yet and also because I feel like those two items take a much longer time whereas these two items I obviously use a little bit more often but guys if you have either damaged hair if you also have like blonde hair or something or you bleached it like me this one is so good in a sense that number one it smells great but also the effectiveness on hydration and damage is also really really great and I also really like the packaging I like how the bottle is circular and it's not like a weird shape I don't no. This also sits very nicely in my shower, so I definitely recommend and it smells amazing. Honestly guys, this smells so good. Like I really, really recommend this if you guys also have the same type of hair. The next item that I have for hair is the Garnier Fructis and this is their one minute conditioner. Sorry if the packaging looks a little bit run down because I have 
finish this as well. The reason why I really like this product is because as a mask, it is so fast. Minimum one minute, obviously you can leave it on for more, but minimum one minute. I feel like I'm just always in a rush and I don't really like having to leave anything in my hair for very long because I get so bored. Usually I just like put on some music and I will have karaoke. That's how I pass my time whenever I'm doing purple shampoo or stuff. But I just, I try to minimize the amount of time I have to do that. So if you guys are looking for like a quick and dirty solution, I definitely recommend this. The smell for all of their products are also really good. Right now I am working on, I think they're avocado. I just remember it's like a green version. So I did get another one and decided to try the green one instead. But this one is papaya. I actually like this one a little bit more to be honest. So if you guys are looking for this, you can get this at the drugstore and also obviously try the papaya because it smells really good. Okay, so the last hair item that I have for you is this Baby List Pro Hair Curler. I mentioned this on Instagram saying how after using it for seven years, it finally died on me. And guys, I use this hair curler every single day up until it died on me. Like I brought this hair curler on exchange in my big ass backpack, the one, what, what are they called? They're like the backpacking backpacks. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like a regular backpack, but one of the really big long traveler ones. So I would carry this in my backpack all throughout Europe because this is the one hair tool that I care about. Back when I had this, I didn't have a straightener and I didn't really care because this was all I used my hair on. And even today's hair, I use this again. So I actually, Actually just replenished this I just bought this again you guys might have remember me talking about it on Instagram but I just repurchased this only like two weeks ago I would say and the reason is because the one that I had to replace this initially I replaced it with a one and a quarter inch barrel and it was by hot tools so the reason why I switched to that one was because I was going to this hair studio and they used it and back then the hair tools were a lot cheaper I think it was only about 25 to 50 bucks or something and that's why I got it and also because at the time My hair was a little bit shorter. So I always find that when you get longer hair That's when you can bring up the size of the barrel So this barrel that I have is one and a half inch Whereas the one I replaced it with was one and a quarter inch So it does make a really big difference because when the barrel is bigger then your waves are definitely looser So if you have shorter hair, you definitely need a smaller barrel like I said back then then my hair was a little bit shorter so that's why I opted for a lesser size and the other reason was because I wanted to try the brand if it actually outperformed this one then it would have been cheaper however I didn't really like my hot tools one just because I find that when you do this part where you curl it and you twist this and slide it down it gives that like effect where your hair seems to be caught in it and I mean it's not as bad as some of the other ones on the market but this one has none of that even though this is only like a week or two old just after opening it it never gave me that issue and even after using it for a couple years now for the hot tools I think maybe like one year or two years I feel like it still has that tightness when I'm curling almost as though your hair is getting caught so that's kind of the reason why I didn't like the hot tools brand I like this brand better I prefer the bigger barrel but if you have shorter hair definitely go with a smaller barrel size okay so that was pretty much it for hair and now the last item that I have for you guys Guys, is this Dermalogica body wash. This is what the body wash looks like. It is their eucalyptus and lavender scent and this is their conditioning body wash. Honestly, I do like the product in a sense that it smells good. It works really well It is very conditioning on my body. The only complaint I have is I don't know if you guys can see based on the size This is not very big and for someone who showers once a day sometimes twice a day This is just not enough and even when I was looking at the price to see how much it would be if I replaced it It would be a total of $41 which I think is really crazy because prior to this I was just buying all my body washes from Costco so to be honest yeah even though this is like slightly more hydrating I just felt like the increase in hydration didn't reflect the increase in price so for that reason I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because I feel like the price point is almost unjustifiable for me I would personally rather just buy a Costco body wash at that point so that was pretty much it for the video today I hope you guys enjoyed this episode 
empties video. I can't wait to finish more products and come up with another empties video later, but I hope that these recommendations helped you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I would love to answer them. And if you haven't already, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.